Right, first of all, when we factorise this, this is the sum, this number here, and this here is the product. So the product is going to be minus 7, and the sum we're going to make is minus 6. So you think of two numbers which were times together to make minus 7. Now, first of all, to make minus 7, the only way you can do it, because it's a prime number, is 1 times 7. Okay. Now, I know that to make a minus, one of these must be a positive and the other one must be a negative. Now, it tells me I need to make a summation of minus 6. So what I'll do is I'm going to call the 7 here a negative and call the 1 a positive because I know that a positive 1 times minus 7 is going to give me a minus 7. And if I get minus 7, add the 1, I'll get a summation of minus 6. Next thing is to do is when you factorize in quadratics is first of all you open up two brackets right next to each other. You put x in each corner and then these numbers here the one the positive one and the minus seven it doesn't really matter which order you put it in I'm going to put the plus one there and put the minus seven there. Okay and that is factorized. We're done. What you could do, don't do this in the exam, but I'm going to do this now just to prove a point because last week all we've done is expanding brackets. If I expand the brackets, can you all pay attention please? Uh, x times x, <coughs> you'll get x squared. x times <coughs> minus 7, you get minus 7x. 1 times x is 1x just x and 1 times minus 7 is going to give me minus 7 and then when I'm collecting all these together I'll get x squared minus 7 plus 1 minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6 x and that's minus 7 so I do get if I expand it I do get this so I know for a fact I've done it right okay this is the factorized form of that so if I'm factorizing that that would have been x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 7. Okay? Let's just have another go here. Okay? Just, just give me some time. Let's have a look at it. First of all, think of this number as the product. And think of this number as the sum. Okay? Something that we've been doing. We need to think of two numbers which were timed together to make a 10 or minus 10 in this case, and add together to make a 3. So let's just go through how to make 10, how to multiply two numbers to make 10. you got 1 times 10, you got 2 times 5, uh, and that's it. You got 3 doesn't go into it, 4 doesn't go into it. Which one of those, now you know that one's going to be a positive, one's going to be a negative. Okay? And this really tells you the bigger number is going to be positive. So the bigger of these numbers is going to be a positive, and the smaller of these numbers is going to be a negative. Now 10 minus 1 is going to give me 9, so it's not that. But 5 minus 2 is a 3. These are the numbers. The numbers that I'm looking for is minus 2 and a positive 5. Because minus 2 times 5 is minus 10. And minus 2 plus 5 is a positive 3. Once you've got those... All you've got to do is open up two brackets next to each other. Put always the x in the left corner. And then place these numbers. doesn't matter which side they go. This time I'm going to put the plus 5 here just to prove a point. And minus 2 here. Now, if you, like I said, this is done. That is the answer. But... Just to convince you, so this is my answer. If you want to check it, and don't do this in the exam because they might mistake it as the answer, you can do it on a scrap piece of paper. If I expand x plus 5, which we'll be doing last week, x minus 2, it should give me this result if I've done it right. Let's just double check it. x times x is x squared. x times minus 2 is minus 2x. 5 times x 
is 5x. And 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. If I collect these middle terms together, minus, five, uh, minus 2 plus 5 is plus 3x. And that's minus 10. So I know for a fact I've done it right.